so welcome back to this channel once again and in this video tutorial i'll be discussing file information data structure in rpg4 so here file information data structure is basically uh, telling the information of any specific file defined in our rpg4 program to the rpg4 program and uh, this basically uh, uh, gives us information file file feedback information and uh, uh, exceptions information to the program so let me show you the the example which I created to show this so here you can see I just defined one file clpf1 just if I do run query on this and there are two records in this file now I can define the file information data structure over this file so just take F4 here you can see I defined the data structure DS1 file information data structure uh, inside the uh, INFTS keyword so this is the syntax to define a file information data structure over a specific file. So we can define uh, file information data structure over any number of files uh, which are uh, defined in the program and which uh, from there we can receive the file feedback information which is available in the uh, length 1 till 80. So in this video we will talk about the file feedback information only we can uh, we will be receiving the open feedback information input output feedback device specific attributes all the information we will be getting from the file information data structure but the most important thing which is file feedback information which we are basically dealing with so here in file feedback information we are receiving the file name record processing which uh, rn of the record processing last operation performed uh, status codes if the stated co status codes are greater than equal to nine greater than 99 then it's an exception rpg4 routine and other things as you can see here file uh, file open and a file status opcode routine list number listing line special status record name error message id screen size L nls input and output these are for uh, basically for the uh, device files now if i see i just read the file uh, by setting the uh, low val at the first rn and reading the file in do while loop just let me show you the ds ds is ds1 this one is the ds which is defined over this file so this is a file information data structure you uh, which is defined using the inf ds keyword now let me compile this program is compiled rpgle5 now I'm debugging this program So setting the breakpoint at line number one call RPGLE5. Just do a page up. Just do F11 here on DS1. So I 
I can see uh, file of DS1 is file name is CLPF1 open indication of DS1 is 1 means file is open end of file of DS1 is 0 means still uh, end of file is not reached status is 0 no error open opcode last opcode is open this is the uh, routine of DS1 that is init in it and all other uh, fields as you can see are currently uh, blank and 0 just take F10 now do we val DS1 now you can see list num of DS1 is 38 so currently it is executing the 38th line but here you can see 30 on 38 lines it is this one but this is a compiler listing line which is uh, uh, there in the DS1 38 read CLPF1 uh, set LL okay just let me show you shift F9 work SPLF page down page up so you can see on 38 it was set LL so currently you have executed the set LL so we have the information of the set LL now we are executing the read operation so now if we do the eval ds1 it would be 39 and we can see the opcodes are changing now currently we are uh, performing the read operation open indication is still 1 and end of file is 0 this is the recall of ds1 which is being processing rclpf1 just take f10 so the first record is read so if i do run query raw number is 1 so let me check row number we are not evaluating anything we can't see those things let me check this by okay just take one more now the second record is read so it's still open but now end of file has been reached so you can see end of file indicator is now set to 1 and the message id which we are receiving is cpa5001 which we can check work msgf uh, work with message file qcpfmsg end of file and two detected in library day three and three so end of file has been reached now and this is the end of program still nlr is not set to on so if i look at ds1 so the file is still open just take f10 now now if i check open indication of ds1 is 0 so file is now closed because nlr is set to on end of file is still 1 and opcode is close file and routine of ds1 is termination routine right now this is the end of program so here you uh, saw the demonstration of the file information data structure how the value in the data structure changes which tells us about the exceptions any exceptions occur or uh, end of file release or any other thing or file feedback information which record is processing a file is open or not which opcode is 
current leap of uh, executing either read open close or other things so that's all in this video which i want to uh, demonstrate so that's all thank you and have a nice time